Uh, good afternoon. Appreciate uh, everybody coming out. I'm Ryan Fitzgerald, general manager here at Nola Gold. Uh, as uh, Tim has mentioned and Chase mentioned, going into year six now. Uh, this off season, it's been um, our best one we've ever had uh, by far, as far as our full off season. Uh, Kane Thompson, uh, our head coach, uh, as Tim alluded to, is coming you know coming on board last year a little bit you know kind of up against the uh, start of the season. Um, and uh, now this past season, now uh, uh, as our season for 2022 uh, ended in June, our whole off season has been just an all-out blitz uh, to make this push here for the 2023 uh, championship. So um, we got really uh, got back to our identity, what we really wanted to get after, uh, how we wanted to play, how we we're playing in the right areas in the field, all the way down to every person on the roster. Um, the whole entire off season, like I said, has been about building the roster that we want. We have 18 new players this year. Uh, we have acquired four through the college draft, uh, four through our academy that we had coming up throughout the season, two via trade, and the other eight as well from overseas. Uh, Kane Thompson, right after the year ended, uh, he went back home, um, back to New Zealand for about two months, um, got his visa renewed as we were having him back, saw his parents for the first time in two years with COVID, and uh, also hit up every single NPC team, which is a league over in New Zealand, one of the higher ones in the world, um, and that's where we kind of uh, acquired a lot of the players that we wanted to uh, bring in for this year. So, uh, extremely exciting time. Um, our whole fall then also by Taylor, Coach Taylor Howden, Coach Todd Fitzgerald. Uh, we had a whole fall academy season that we have here in New Orleans. Uh, that's a lot of the guys coming up through the pipeline, a lot of local players, American players, guys that we just drafted that, you know, some guys got drafted on Thursday, uh, Thursday in August and they're here Monday morning uh, ready to go. So that was a massive, uh, massive step for us in the right direction. Uh, growing the growing the uh, local players and the American players uh, and MLR is massive, um, and we went all in on that this year, having a six-game season in the fall. That really got those guys, um, you know, accustomed to how Major League Rugby works, how our daily system works here. Uh, very good um, to go from college rug college rugby and you know getting drafted in August uh, to immediately playing at the MLR, MLR level with MLR coaching and our MLR staff. So. Um, Training camp so far, um, it's been an unbelievably um, exciting time. Uh, the tempo, the culture of our locker room right now, the pace of play that we're playing with, uh, perfect balance of experienced players coming in from Super Rugby, uh, international <coughs> players that have played for their country, um, already including you know, Dougie Fife from Scotland. Um, those players with a mixed group of uh, core guys that we've had here for years. Uh, American players that we've developed and uh, have gone on to become USA Eagles and playing for their country. So, um, could not ask for a better start. Uh, like I said, the culture of the locker room, um, everybody knowing their assignment, um, just an extremely well balanced uh, roster of experience, um, and just everybody extremely hungry and ready for the season. Our coaching staff has been second to none as far as the work, the dedication, um, the attention to detail that they're putting in. We're aces every day, as our you know theme this year being ace. Attitude, commitment, and effort. Um, we're aces every single day so far. This training camp, we haven't had you know, had uh, one day that we haven't gained a massive stride forward. And we're extremely excited for this Friday to take on New England. Um, very, very good team as well. Um, but I think this place will be this place will be rocking, and we'll show them in the Mardi Gras jerseys. You know what's uh, what's going to happen here in the all the uh, this upcoming 2023 season. So, um, that being said, if there's any questions, if not, I can. Turn it over to Kane Thompson, our head coach here. Appreciate it.